Hello students, now we are going to see about modeling and simulation of uh, proton exchange membrane fuel cell. So first you have to see about the animation of uh, working of fuel cell. So this uh, fuel cell stack, so it have catalyst right, that mean, so this is this layer nothing but catalyst. So this is nothing but a proton exchange membrane and then it have two inputs right so one is hydrogen input another one is oxygen input right so what would what happen inside that fuel stack right so we have to pass that fuel that means hydrogen and oxygen with some pressure so then the hydrogen will be attracted by the catalyst and then and the hydrogen atom will be uh, split it into electron and the proton okay then the proton going to be exchanged from this portion that means this end to anode end to cathode the proton will be exchanged from anode end to cathode after that what happened when you have to connect load right so the electron will be passes through that load and then comes to this catalyst right so because because of uh, exchange from uh, proton from this anode to cathode so finally this proton and electron will be combined together so it will form uh, 2H2 okay so already here you can see that axis also given is input in, in this uh, on cathode side right so what happened H2O will be formed here right so here what happened the hydrogen going to be uh, split into electron proton by means of this catalyst because of that we have some electron movement when we connect the load so this is a working of fuel cell so fuel fuel here like hydrogen cell act as a fuel so that's why it is known as fuel cell and then here we are using proton exchange membrane so that's why it is known as proton exchange membrane fuel stack okay so how this model is uh, that means fuel cell going to be a model in the matlab so let me see that one so for that i'm going to uh, uh, already refer this paper right so that means modeling modeling of the proton exchange membrane fields so that means sensitivity analysis of modeling parameters used in the simulation of proton exchange membrane field cell so then here you can see a different equation so first uh, so this is the uh, field cell equation and developed for that uh, pm field cell Okay. So it consists of a different voltage, nearness voltage, activation voltage, ohmic voltage, and concentration voltage, right? And then uh, for each voltage, you have different equation. So one is uh, first nearness equation, right? So this equation depends upon the following parameter: the temperature of the fuel cell, and then pressure of the H2 and the pressure of the O2 okay and then you can see here uh, act activation uh, voltage so this is depends upon following parameter one is fuel cell current and then pressure of the co2 okay and uh, you, you can see the different parameter epsilon one two and three and four right so this parameter nothing but uh, uh, parameter coefficient so it, it can be taken from the real-time uh, fuel cell right and next one is ohmic uh, potent ohmic voltage so it <laughs> depends upon r and rc and ifc next one is concentration uh, voltage so this depends upon j j max okay so these are the equation <coughs> used to for uh, finding fuel cell voltage so you have to model the fuel cell okay so next we have to find out co2 so co2 can be calculated using this equation po2 divided by 5.08 into 10 power 6 into e power minus 498 divided by t and then uh, rm nothing but a membrane resistance so rc nothing but a contact resistance so j nothing but a cell current density and then b nothing but a cell type that means uh, voltage constant volt uh, con constant depends upon cell type okay and then we have another formula nothing but uh, rho m ok 
Okay. So these are the equation used for model that uh, field cell. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use same equation in order to model that uh, field cell, and uh, I'm going to take some standard field cell stack in order to model that uh, uh, in simulation, right? So they have number of stack equal to 32 area that mean area of the field cell is 64 centimeter and length temperature po2 ps2 rc and b okay and then we have z, c, zeta 1 zeta 2 zeta 3 zeta 4 and psi j and j max c okay so these are data used for model that uh, uh, field cell based upon this equation so uh, I'm going to use the same equation now to create that model. So, so here you can see that. So this is equation created for that uh, field cell, right? That means number of cell, cell area, and then number and thickness, temperature, pressure of the oxygen, pressure of the hydrogen, contact resistance, and then uh, constant dependence on cell type parameter coefficients and then and the no load current density and maximum current density so next comes to uh, loop right that mean uh, so that field cell is depends upon current right so here we need to use that current so that uh, this this model is developed for uh, 500 watts field cell right so here you can see that the maximum current will be 29 or uh, 29.5 amps right the voltage will be 30 volt okay so i'm going to use the current rating that means current is start from 0 to 29.8 right so every that means current will be increment by 0.1 amps from 0 to 29.8 so this equation is used for finding erroneous equation so this is for finding CO2 pressure, Z2 activation voltage, and then this is used for row calculating row value, and then RM ohmic resistance. So this is uh, uh, for calculating concentration voltage, right? If IFC equal to zero, then we need to use this equation. If IAC equal to more than zero, then we can use this equation. So finally. We have that field cell voltage which is equal to En minus V act minus V ohmic minus V concentration. So that when we stored in the here we that mean VFC of I IFC of I, right? And finally we got to draw the graph between IFC VFC and also we can and draw the graph between IFC and IFC star dot VFC. Okay. So here you can uh, provide X label and Y label. Okay. And then here I am going to type field cell voltage and power. And then I am going to, that means it will be this will be executed up to 29.8 right so next i'm going to ex execute this one uh, that mean y limit will be i'm going to make 600 and then simply this one So now we can see that the graph, right? Uh, that means one second I'm going to plot only IFC versus PFC. So just change oil limit equal to 0 to 40. So this is a graph between fuel cell voltage and current, right? So you can use this then be uh, this equation or else already we have, we provided that uh, detail in your manual right you can use that code also in order to implement 
that model, uh, modeling of the uh, fuel cell, right? So I'm going to replace the equation by the code given in the manual. So here you can arrange this one. So these are the data for the fuel cell, right? So here you can simulate this model. First, you save this model, but then in simulation file. So finally, we get this kind of results, right? So sometime, if you are going to use tools in 15B or lower version, right? So just you go to delete this one, right? Delete this one, delete this one, because this command will be not uh, work, not not work with that uh, lowest version. Okay, so that's why I'm telling to delete this one, right? So when you go to execute, you will get that means you can delete this this one also, and then type fuel cell voltage and power. So finally, you get the this graph. Right? I mean, voltage fuel cell voltage is current and fuel cell power uses current. Right? So this is a characteristics of uh, fuel cell. That means proton exchange moment fields. Okay. Thank you.